Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about understanding that gaining muscle mass is arguably, arguably one of the best things that you can do for your health, uh, you can do for your, your strength and athletic performance, that you can do for uh, your appearance, Right? All of these things, including even, even keeping body fat lower in the long term. Gaining muscle is the most important thing that we can do. So with the health stuff, I'll get to that last because some people don't care about that. But let's talk about the fact of just strength and athletic performance. Uh, when it comes to force production, we know that the biggest factor in how much force that you are capable of producing, which includes how much weight you can lift for a one rep max, and I'm not saying it's the only factor, it's just that it is the largest factor. When everything else is looked at, it is actually bigger than the other things combined usually. That's how important it is, is how much muscle you have. For whatever movement pattern you are doing, is how much muscle mass you have relative to things like your limb links and levers, the cross-sectional area of your, your total muscle fibers in the muscles involved. Okay, hypertrophy, gaining muscle is the best thing you can do to get stronger. And that also carries over to things like athletic performance, the ability to throw a ball faster, the ability to kick harder, to punch harder, to jump higher, to sprint faster. Muscle mass matters. It is enormous for every single one of these things. It absolutely is. And that's where our focus should be. And when people say silly stuff like gaining muscle makes you slower, that's an old myth. It's not true. Furthermore, most people are not going to be able to gain enough muscle. If Let's say you only spend five years really working hard to gain muscle and you don't use any anabolic substances to help. There is no way you're going to gain enough muscle to where it becomes a problem for movement, for speed. Uh, anything else or becoming muscle bound it just doesn't happen it's not even going to hurt your your mobility or flexibility because again training done correctly through full ranges of motion improves mobility okay so that's what we're looking at that's complete nonsense it is beneficial to you all right body fat how you look all right, the, the, the body that most people want when they say, hey, I want to I want to look fit, I want to look in shape, I want to have an attractive body, usually has way more muscle than they actually realize it does. They might see someone else and say, well, I want to look like that. That guy's not that big or that girl doesn't have that much muscle until they realize that person has might have spent eight years stacking on as much muscle as they could have to even reach that point. But they look how you want to look and you're thinking, well, they're not super big, but they, they probably are bigger than you realize because you're comparing them to, say, uh, you know, a professional bodybuilder on the enormous amounts of PEDs, right? That, that's a different scenario. But that person has put a lot of time into gaining muscle. So having the body that you want is going to oftentimes require you to have more body weight and more muscle than you think it will if you just want to look good, naked, or attractive. Keep that in mind. And that includes women too, especially women. Women are the ones who realize this the least. Then you come over to the body composition end and, and, and body fat and body fat percentage. Okay, the more muscle you have, the leaner you look even with the same amount of fat on your body for one thing. A lot of people are not aware of that. Number two, muscle mass helps you burn more calories. The more muscle you have, the higher your work capacity is, the more calories you burn through sleeping, resting, but particularly when exercising and moving. Okay, muscle mass will help you maintain a higher metabolic rate that makes losing fat and losing body weight. Let's talk about losing body fat, not always body weight, because a person might want to lose, you know, 10 pounds of fat, but if they've gained 10 pounds of muscle, they're not necessarily losing body weight, but they'll look dramatically different. Any human being is going to look like a completely different person with a 10-pound shift in their body composition like that, even if they the, end up at the same weight when they're done. But it's going to help you burn through body fat and calories much, much, much more quickly. Hey, and just keep that body fat off. It makes it far easier, far easier just from an energy turnover and nutrient comp, uh, partitioning perspective. 
all of those things. And then we come over to all the health benefits. Some of them are immediately apparent. You know, some people realize, oh, okay, well, you know, less cardiovascular disease and stuff. Yeah, because muscle mass actually in weight training has been found to do more than cardio does for heart health. That is what the meta-analysis are showing. Cardio still helps, and if you combine them together, hey, even better. The combination is even better. But muscle mass, it helps with these things tremendously. It also lowers things like circulating insulin, improves insulin sensitivity, lowers circulating glucose. So well, what does that mean? This just reduces your chances of diabetes. Lifting weights alone, just by itself, has been shown to reduce diabetes by 70%. No other lifestyle interventions. Now, keep in mind, type 2 diabetes can be 100% prevented, by the way. It can be a completely prevented with all the factors combined in. But that does 70% reduction by itself. All right, what about cancers? Well, again, we're lowering these things. We're improving insulin resistance. Just basic weightlifting, not even getting extreme like I do or, or my clients do or anyone, lowers cancer rates by 50% in the literature. Just strength training twice a week. People who do get cancer survive at double the rate of the, of the therapies if they lift weights. Again, it has to do with the muscle mass competing for resources with the tumors. It's like it competes for resources with your body fat. You know, it doesn't guarantee these things, but it gives you a lot better fighting chance. All right, what about osteoporosis? Hip fractures, all these things, the stuff that kills people, bone density. Lifting weights improves bone density. Hey, here's the thing, here's a statistic, and I, I, I might be off on this, but I believe this statistic is that once someone fractures a hip, once they get past 55, if they fracture a hip, their first hip fracture, 19 out of 20 people are dead within three years of that happening. It's enormously high. Strength training improves bone density. Just makes you harder to kill in general. Makes you harder to kill in general. What about cognition? Uh, again, comes over to nutrient partitioning, insulin resistance, even in the brain, things like that. Muscle mass potentially seems to help with cognition, memory as we age, dementia, Alzheimer's. It's a massive factor. Gaining muscle mass, people gaining muscle and maximizing the muscle on your frame is, is literally one of the best things you can do for your strength, your athletic performance, your physical appearance your fat loss, fighting cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, osteoporosis, Alzheimer's, dementia. Hey, it's massive. It's massive. Focus on it, people. Your life will be so much better for it. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.